EBT is an open source transformation orchestration tool. It's a tool for analysts who typically only know SQL and want to build transformation pipelines. It enables analysts to easily follow software development best practices like version control, testing and documentation from day one. It helps data teams work like software engineers to ship trusted data faster. Cloudera has built adapters for dbt for all the engines in CDP like Hive, Impala and Spark and for Spark both CDE and Data Hub via Levy. In this demo, we will talk about a sample dbt project that uses Hive as an underlying warehouse. In addition, we will be using a CDP native deployment of dbt so that all features of dbt can be used in one interface. All of the governance capabilities of CDP starting from user management, user isolation, lineage tracking and auditing are integrated into this CDP native deployment. Let's clone the Git repository with all the SQL business logic of transformations that we would like to perform on a raw data set about COVID cases. Once the repository is cloned, we first start with connecting to the Hive warehouse. We do this by first creating a profile for the warehouse. As an analyst, you can just use your CDP warehouse workload password in your personal profile.yml so that your work is not clobbered by other users. In this setup, we have made it possible for analysts to just set environment variables with the credentials and use them in the profile.yml file as shown. That way, credentials don't have to be saved in Git. Now, I will run dbt debug to check if the connection succeeded. If there are connection issues, or for any troubleshooting, you can look at the dbt.log file right here in the file browser. Now that the connection is established, we will load some raw data into the warehouse. Your production warehouse probably has a data loader that is loading raw data into the warehouse. Let's check the raw data in the warehouse. We can see that the raw data has some unwanted columns, columns that are just strings and even columns that can be enriched. Now that we have a raw data, we will use a couple levels of transformations to help with our analysis. We will first clean up the data into a couple of staging tables. Then we will build a data mart for the analysis we need to perform. All right, let's start with the staging tables. All we need to know is SQL. Once we have the SQL query, it can be annotated with a couple of options. So it runs on new raw data as it arrives. We can refer to the raw data using the source tag in the SQL query. dbt automatically figures out the data dependencies and runs the SQL query in the right order. Next, we create the MART tables which are the final tables needed for analysis. These SQL queries are annotated with materialized to make sure that the transformed data is available as an incremental table in the warehouse. Once we have written these files, we can use the dbt run command to execute all the SQL queries in the right order and test the resulting data tables. We can also add data validation rules on the data like null checks, range checks, or any other constraints represented in SQL. This makes sure that data follow all the appropriate constraints, hence allowing the analysis to be meaningful. One more advantage of dbt is that it has made it easy for analysts to document the models they create within the SQL file. dbt docs generates an easy to browse data documentation site that can be served for everyone to see. We will show this later. Now comes the part of making sure that the transformations are properly orchestrated. For this demo, we have done that in CML, but we are also looking at Airflow as a way to orchestrate the transformations. The CI-CD pipelines can be triggered by first merging the SQL files into Git. 
the CML job pipelines automatically pulls the latest changes in the models and then runs the models. In addition, it can run the dbt test and dbt docs generate in order. The result of dbt run and dbt test can be seen in the CML job logs. The output of the dbt docs generate command is served as a CML app. You can see the documentation as well as the lineage. Finally, the fact that dbt is submitting SQL queries to the warehouse means that SDX automatically captures all the audit and lineage and impact information at the enterprise level. In this demo, we have shown how an analyst who only knows SQL can work independently to create sophisticated data transformation pipelines without the need for any engineering. Our CDP deployment simplifies all aspects of software development lifecycle of DBT models.